Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to November. I feel like there's a lot of good opportunities and new connections that are coming, but maybe some of you are just like, where the fuck is it? Like, when is it gonna show up? And it's just that idea of like, first, energetically, your guides, your angels, the universe needs to coordinate it and make sure that all of the right dots are ready to be connected. And I feel like that is happening right now. And you're maybe just sitting here like, Mm, uh, hello, can I get something please? And it's like, yes, it is coming. I have a Knight of Cups reverse, a Knight of Pentacles reverse, and I have a 10 of Coins and a Nine of Swords. This is really standing out to me. Um, I feel like there's a lot of focus on what you are maybe losing and not really what you are gaining. And I feel like with a Three of Wands, Yes, your ships are coming in, but I have the full reversed. It's because it's not 100% ready yet. And something about whatever will be showing up in the near future, it, it needs more time to um, fix itself. It needs more time to get ready. It needs more time to mature. And I feel like we have a magician here. So like there's definitely opportunity and we've got the moon, okay. So there's definitely opportunity to create something. And I feel like you've been maybe actively praying or meditating or um, manifesting something and it will show up, but you can't, you can't hold the energy of like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because that's connected to scarcity and lack, which will attract more scarcity and lack. So we really need to switch um, our energy and focus on more appreciation for everything that we quote unquote have even if you don't have it right now you holding the vibration of oh i'm so grateful i have it it will attract it faster i also feel like we've got a king of pentacles here and we've got a nine knight of swords with a seven of cups reverse i think getting grounded is going to be really important for you we also have mars retrograding in gemini right now so we don't wanna be rushing. I feel like our mind could maybe be um, playing tricks on us. We're in Scorpio season right now. We're in the middle of two eclipses. So like Scorpio season can bring up obsession or fears, anxieties, old pro programs, um, self-limiting beliefs, etc. So like, and with the 10 of swords, oh, I love that. I love it. Ace of wands after this 10 of swords reverse. It's like the 10 of swords reverse is saying we already know that these old programs in our mind, these old fears, anxieties, the old stories, the toxic cycles, the same repetitive shit, like it's done. We've already felt that internal shift, but maybe it's still around a little bit. We're still cleaning it up, um, which is fine. I just, I feel like there's this overall value system that's changing. There's this overall understanding of yourself and your own power and now you have an opportunity to stand up in your power and say I'm going to be breaking these old habits breaking these old um, mindsets breaking these old ways of doing things these behaviors I feel like for a lot of you it's really important to establish a new routine connected to your daily practice your health your foods uh, maybe doing a detox or eating less I just I feel like with this um, ace of wands we're gonna feel very inspired to take action in new ways through this month, um, especially after Scorpio season is finished. Once we move into Sagittarius season, we are going to feel really excited because Sagittarius is our sister um, sign or brother sign or whatever. It's our sibling sign. Um, Sagittarius is mutable fire energy. So we're gonna feel really excited and ready to move and try new things and that's beautiful. But what we're doing right now in Scorpio season is we need to dive into those self-limiting beliefs, into the old fears, the old toxic cycles and understand why do we still do this? They're not benefiting us. So now we can actually purge them. We can go through that death and rebirth and we have two um, eclipses that are helping us. If you haven't taken um, the eclipse workshop, the link in my bio, go click on it and take the new moon Scorpio eclipse workshop because it was literally an emotional reset for everyone, like energetically speaking, like it is helping us drop these old um, frozen emotions that are stuck in the body. It's an opportunity for us to actually clear out on a somatic level, like somatically in the body to actually release 
and purge and, and drop all of these old energies that have been stuck or that have been keeping us blocked from moving forward. So we're not out of it yet, especially because, oh, I love that. You've got a Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, and we've got the Judgment, oh my God, and the world. You have five major arcana in a row. That is insane. Five major arcana. Those are like universal energies supporting you on this journey right now. And it's like, hello, that's a lot. That's a big day. <laughs> That's a big month for you, okay? So let's take a look at this. Like what I'm hearing is the great reset, <laughs> which I love because we have all these new ideas and I feel like there's been a lot of things that maybe you've been wanting to try or maybe you wanted to implement into your daily practice or maybe you just wanted to start and now is a good time to stand in your power. Scorpio season, very powerful. A lot of inspiration to make changes. And I feel like now is an opportunity to be like, I'm not going to push those feelings down. I'm going to accept them. Maybe for some of you, it's, it's mourning and loss. Maybe for some of you, it's excitement and joy and looking forward to something. Maybe you're just saying, I wanna to commit to a new change. I wanna to commit to a new routine and a new practice. And now you have the opportunity to do that. Do we see the results immediately? No, but over the coming weeks, we will. And the next six month cycle will be enhanced for you if you can commit to all of those changes that you know deep down inside, oh, I, I should be making these different decisions. I should be making these different changes. Well, now is an opportunity for you to actually do it. Um, I feel like you're going to feel very empowered. And that's beautiful because also with this Ace of Wands, you are given an opportunity to open a new door and to try new things. And Gemini loves to get curious. Gemini loves to think and ask questions and like see different perspectives. So now it's an opportunity for you to experience life from a different perspective. I feel like maybe you wanna, you know, do some like chanting every night or you wanna do um, some breath work every morning or whatever. It's like, even if you just pick Sorry, even if you just pick one thing to start and like stick to it for 30 days and see how it goes and see how you feel and see what changes, like that is now the curiosity that's coming up. And I'm a Gemini, I'm literally doing the same thing. Like I'm eating way less. I have like one meal a day. I'm drinking a lot of water and teas only. I've been literally chanting every night. I've been literally like, yeah, I have my whole new program that I'm just trying. I just want to see what happens after 30 days of doing that. And like, I can already see and feel energetically the shifts. So like that will set me up for a really good next six month cycle. And I suggest that you do the same because there's a lot of focus on health and well being right now for us Gemini's. And this is an opportunity to just try something different and see how it impacts your life because it will positively impact your life. I promise. I also feel like with a seven, yeah, see, a seven of wands reverse, it's like, okay, I can hear that voice in the back of my head telling me that I should try something different or stop doing something. And it's like, Ugh. but now with a page of swords and an ace of cups, I love that. Oh my God. And we've got the double fucking nines. Are you serious? Nine of cups, nine of coins and an ace of cups and the sun, bitch, like... If you can commit to trying something new for yourself, I promise you, even in 30 days, but if you stick with it for like a few months, especially because the eclipse cycle is a six month cycle. So in six months, we will have eclipses again. If you can commit to changes for the next six months, bitch, no one can fuck with you. No one can touch you. You are going to be so powerful and elevated. And it's like, use that voice inside that is telling you, oh, I don't know if you need to drink that. I don't know if you need to eat that. I don't know if you should be, you know, still scrolling through your phone. I don't know if you should, like, listen, listen to that voice. Um, of course, if it's telling you to go out and like stab pumpkins, like, I don't know if you should listen to that voice, but like, there's a good voice inside. <laughs> listen to that voice because that will invite Ace of Cups new ways for you to feel more fulfilled about yourself and your life. And when you stop fighting with yourself and you just allow that new energy to come up, because we are always shifting, we are always changing. And like, we are literally, 
You're only fighting and you're only delaying and you're only blocking yourself from your own success and deeper connection to yourself. So it's like, why stay stuck in these old cycles, toxic connections, old behaviors, old addictions, habits. It's just like, like we're done. We are done, bitch. What are you doing? Stop entertaining those people. Stop drinking that shit. Stop dealing with these projects. Stop allowing other people to not pay you properly. It's like drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, and go. And decide uh, on a new way of doing things for yourself because you will feel so fucking confident, nine of coins. Other people will be so attracted to you because you have this new energy. You will be feeling so fulfilled and satisfied you need to continue to show gratitude and you'll be attracting new love, new connections, new expansion, new identity, new connections, new opportunities, new money. It's just like new, 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 new. Like it's all coming, bitch. So just like trust, close your eyes and trust, okay? And if you want help attracting that energy quicker, if you want help cutting those cords, go take a workshop. 10,000 people took the Eclipse workshop. Why didn't you? because you're self-sabotaging and delaying. It's like, come on, it's under 30 minutes, home video, you pay what you can. It doesn't even matter. It's like, go, click on my website. The link is in my bio, take the workshop. If you really want change, also take the Scorpio season workshop because that is an in-depth one hour workshop and that is fucking litty titty. That will help change your life for real, okay? I love you, Gemini. I will see you very soon, ciao.